Whenever I propose shockwaves to my patients, they often look at me without understanding because they've never heard of this treatment. Unlike my patients, many of you might be familiar with it. However, I know there's a lot of confusion about shockwaves, especially in the US. Shockwaves are not always the same. Find out what I mean by that and watch this video where I explain an innovative treatment that improves penile function in most patients. My name is Stefan Bundrock and I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. Erectile dysfunction affects millions of men worldwide. It's often caused by poor blood flow to the penis. Traditional treatments include medications like Viagra, lifestyle changes and even surgery. However, low intensity shockwave therapy offers a non-invasive alternative that targets the root cause, blood flow. So what exactly is low intensity shockwave therapy? It involves the application of sound waves to the penile tissue. These sound waves promote neovascularization, which is the formation of new blood vessels and improve blood flow to the penis. This helps achieve and maintain stronger erections. But that's not all. It also activates growth factors, increases nerve function and promotes the release of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a gas released from arteries and is crucial for erectile function. Additionally, low intensity shock waves are effective against pelvic floor overactivity. Overactive muscles are shortened and limited in their function. The ischiocavernosus and bulbospongiosus muscles belong to the pelvic floor and are known to increase penile rigidity when contracted. I think you know what I'm talking about. When you contract your pelvic floor during an erection, you can see and feel how these muscles work. These muscles are frequently overactive and can be a cause of erectile dysfunction. The worst thing you can do now is Kegel exercises, as they will increase your problem. Your pelvic floor will become even more overactive, which in turn will weaken your erections. Shock waves will address all of this and effectively increase your erectile ability. There is a high success rate. However, shock waves are not a miracle cure. Mild erectile dysfunction can be cured, while severe erectile dysfunction can be made less severe. The procedure itself is straightforward. A handheld device delivers the shock waves to different areas of the penis and perineum. Each session lasts about 15 minutes with my treatment plan consisting of two sessions per week. Overall, 12 sessions are necessary. Let's address some common questions about this therapy. Is it painful? No, and that's the good news. It doesn't require anesthesia either. Is it safe? Yes, the therapy is considered safe with minimal side effects, if any. Some men might experience mild discomfort for a short while, but this doesn't occur frequently. How long do the results last? Results can vary, but many men experience improvements that last up to two years and more. Maintenance sessions may be recommended depending on your lifestyle. Be kind to your arteries and treat them well to sustain treatment results. Who is a good candidate? In general, men with erectile dysfunction. Middle-aged men with mild to moderate erectile dysfunction have the best chances to see a significant difference. So why aren't all shockwaves equal? Here's the thing. Much of what is promoted as shockwaves are not actually shockwaves. Medical advertising is subject to strict rules in Europe, but it is somewhat different in America, where marketing plays a more significant role. This leads to confusion. Shockwaves are acoustic waves with unique properties. They are high energy waves that travel faster than the speed of sound creating a sudden, intense pressure in the tissues they are applied to. Shock waves are very precise and penetrate deep into the body. Radial pressure waves, on the other hand, are slower and have less energy, while shock waves are produced either electrohydraulically, electromagnetically or piezoelectrically. Radial pressure waves are generated by a controlled explosion leading to an acceleration of a projectile into a probe. At impact, a wave is created that spreads out in a circular pattern from the point of contact. 
They are used to treat surface level issues like muscle pain and inflammation by improving blood flow and promoting healing. But that's not the same as shockwaves. It is confusing that these devices are also marketed under the shockwave label, but they are more like ordinary sound waves. They reach a significantly lower peak pressure, have a slower rise time and propagate outwards without a focal point. To date, there is not enough scientific data to support the claim that these devices are equally effective for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. I use Eschdorz Duralith SD1 for my treatments. This machine generates electromagnetic shock waves which are focused and with another handpiece, I can also make them linear. I don't reveal the name of my machine for marketing reasons. Stolz is one of the leading companies in the field of shockwave therapy devices. They are also big in radial pressure wave devices. Actually, they sell a shockwave radial wave combo. So far, they don't promote radial pressure waves for erectile dysfunction. They could, but they don't, because there is not enough scientific evidence to support that claim. As always, this video is not medical advice. If you or someone you know is struggling with erectile dysfunction, consider discussing low-intensity shockwave therapy with a healthcare professional. It might be the solution you've been looking for. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.